Hey everybody, welcome to Simple, Cheap, and Easy DIYs by Simple DIYer. Please subscribe, like, comment, and share. As always, you can check the description box for the list of items used. Today's video, we're going to be making this lemon decor for your kitchen. We're going to start off by taking this foam board and this fresh lemonade sign, which both came from Dollar Tree. Taking the foam board and the sign, I'm just going to make a frame. I'm going to use this paint stir stick to measure it out, and I'm just going to make the frame the width of the stir stick, as you can see me doing here. Once you have the frame outlined, you're just going to cut the outer part of the frame as well as the inner part using an X-Acto knife. Once it's cut out, it should look like this. Now I'm just going to take this apple barrel paint in the color brown oxide and paint the frame. This is what it will look like. Now taking the antique white and apple barrel paint, you're just going to dry brush uh, it on along the four sides of the frame. This is what it will look like once it's fully painted. Now you can either remove the hanging string or you can do like I'm doing here, and I'm going to replace it for some jute twine, which also came from Dollar Tree. And in order to get it thread through, I'm just going to tie a piece of the jute twine to the rope and slide it through to replace it. Now to complete this sign, I'm just going to turn it over upside down and hot glue the sign to the edge of the frame. And this is what the finished fresh lemonade sign will look like. For these next DIYs, I'm going to be reusing some items I made in a previous video. I'll leave a link in the top right hand corner as well as in the description box. Now I'm going to be taking these two jars that I made and remove the contents so I can go ahead and replace them with decor that'll fit more with a kitchen theme. Mm -hmm. 
Now I'm going to be taking these fake lemons, which I believe I got at the Goodwill, and I'm going to be using the same greenery that I used previously, and I'm just going to replace those in both jars. Please give this video a big thumbs up because it really helps my channel to be able to grow and for me to be able to keep bringing these great DIYs. Now taking this planner, which I made in the previous DIY as well, which I'll have linked up above in the right hand corner, as well as in the description box, I'm just going to take the greenery off as well as the little plant hanger. Now I'm going to take this greenery vine, which I also got at Dollar Tree, and I'm just going to wrap it around the top of the frame. Sorry it's out of focus at the beginning, but it will be back in line to see how I'm doing this. Once the vine is all the way wrapped around the top, I'm just going to take these two lemon picks, which I also got at the Goodwill, and I'm going to glue them onto the front of the frame. Next, I'm going to take a piece of foam board that I cut to fit inside the 8x10 frame and I'm going to paint it with this Apple Barrel Brown Oxide Paint.
Once the foam board is fully painted and dry, you're going to take it and put it at the bottom of your frame. It should fit right in the center of the frame, and I'm just going to use hot glue around all four sides to glue it into place. And this is what it should look like. Now this is optional, but I'm going to take a moss sheet and place it in the bottom just to kind of make it look like grass. Now your lemon holder is complete. I'm going to use these fake lemons in it, but you can definitely use real lemons to keep on your countertop. Now I'm going to take these two candles. I have white ones because this is what I had on hand, but I do suggest if you can find them to get the yellow candles. And I'm just going to take this jute twine and I'm going to glue it to the top and just wrap it around um, about a third of the way down on both candles. And this is what it will look like when both candles are complete. Now I'm going to take this yellow oxide paint which I got at Dollar Tree and this apple barrel snow white paint which came from Walmart and mix them together. Now if you can find the yellow candles you can skip this step um, but I just this is just what I had on hand again to, to go ahead and use. Uh, it will take a couple of coats to fully coat the candles with the acrylic paint. Now taking these two little baskets, which are also from the previous DIY, I'm just going to set the candles in these baskets and using the same greenery as previously, I'm going to place them around both candles. And here's what the completed projects will look like.
thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, you can give it a big thumbs up and make sure you're subscribed to my channel so you can see every time that I upload a new video. As always, you can leave me a comment below and let me know what you want to see next. Until next time, have a great day.